Hi, hi again. Hi again. Uh, th thank you very much for your presentation. Oh, uh, I just wanted to ask you some quick que question. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. Just, just uh, a quick question about the next uh, 3D animation series. Right, right. Uh, yeah. Uh, what are the plans? Well, we're um, we're working on our our Clone Wars animated series right now. Yeah. We've got uh, we probably have 15 episodes in various stages of production. Already done? No, no. Uh, in various stages of production, yeah, okay. we've, we've we have one, an almost two complete, mm -hmm. which George has seen. Now George is involved right from the script, mm -hmm. character development, mm -hmm. everything. So he's mm -hmm. he's very involved and he's he's seeing it all along steps of the way. So. In TV, you have, you know, if you've got one in script and you've got the next one in story development, you've got the next one in layout, and you've got the next one in animation, the next one's already in rendering and such and such. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, for myself, um, I'm already directing three, three episodes of the first season, and I've got another two on my calendar when I get back. Mm -hmm. So at this point, it looks like I may work on five of the first 26 episodes. Mm -hmm. um, they're looking fabulous. Yeah. They're looking great. I mean, it's, you know, but a year and a half ago, I had gone over to Singapore to help build the team there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we'd met with the press, and, you know, you always say things, oh, you're, ne you're never going to see anything like this on TV, but now I can actually tell you it's the truth. It's, it's amazing. I mean, it's, it's George Lucas quality on uh, TV animation. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch a lot of TV animation lately until I started working on the TV series, and, and so I've now dipped in and looking at it. Yeah. And our stuff is just incredible compared to what's out there. I mean, I think the fans are just going to, they're going to go crazy. Yeah, actually, we hope to see some, you know, brand new uh, animation uh, right. today, but... Uh, no, <laughs> no, uh, you know, they, uh, you know, the, it's, it's completely under wraps right now. Yeah. Um, we'll see later in the year. Yeah. Um, we did show some of it to some licensees, mm -hmm. and they, they just thought it was fabulous. So, I mean, we thought it was pretty great, but... To, to see a small select of people to get to see it, and mm -hmm. they went they went crazy. So. And all, all the that epi uh, those episodes were, were done in Singapore or uh, in ILM in San Francisco? Too? No, they well, it's a combination. Um, we've got a team of artists up at Skywalker Ranch mm -hmm. with us. Mm -hmm. So we do, uh, well, we do the scripts, we do the character design, we do the art direction, mm -hmm. uh, we do some of the layout at Skywalker Ranch. Mm -hmm. Then the animation is done in Singapore, yeah. and the rendering is done in Singapore. Then they come back to Skywalker, the final assembly, the sound, the voice recording, um, the final online is all done at Skywalker or at ILM, mm -hmm. um, and the whole shows are brought together. Yeah. And, and why did you uh, put some work in Singapore? Because of the talent there, or because Lucasfilm wants to be a world, much worldwide company? George wanted to be a worldwide company. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have for years hired people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. I think we've mm -hmm. got 35 different nations represented within our staff. Mm -hmm. Um, and George, it's, there, was, there was a desire from George to get into the TV animation, but he wanted to have it look differently. He yeah. really liked Japanese anime, mm -hmm. um, but when they started to investigate, well, where would we do this? Um, you know, Japanese have their own market, they've got their yeah. own uh, studios, uh, they're super talented and we'd love to work with them, mm -hmm. but um, the reality was that we needed somewhere where we could go and we could have our Lucasfilm studio set up. We could attract talent from the area, mm -hmm. so we have people from all the surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. Singapore ended up being a natural choice. The working language is English. Mm -hmm. uh, geographically, it's really close to uh, Korea, Philippines, yeah. India, uh, nations that have been doing animation for a while. Um, so it's a great place to be uh, and working with them there. So yeah. it's fabulous. Yeah, uh, because we are we are a collectible website. Yes. You know, uh, or originally, uh, are you a fan of collectibles? Or um, you know, I uh, since I got married, uh, yeah. I, I don't uh, have so many. Um, or let's say they're in boxes right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I, I've certainly kept some trinkets along the way, and I've got uh, well, George Lucas named one of the Jedi after mm -hmm. me, so I've got some Coleman tree boards in the package that are mint. Um, and I've got some other things that I've had some people sign for me. Yeah. You know, I have to put my kids through college at some point, <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, I understand. Uh, uh, we, ha we have all the same problem, you know, past 30. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> yeah, my beer bottle collection and my collectibles collection, yeah. yeah. And did you work closely with um, the artists in Singapore, ILM, for the, the new 3D series? in order to bring some companies such as uh, Gentle Giant Company, Atacus, or you know, uh, or some models to, 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 yeah. to 
to, to have the, the best product uh, available. Yeah, that's the, the, the whole uh, licensing marketing angle is happening right now. Personally, um, I've worked very closely with Gentle Giant over the years, and I'm a big fan of their work. Mm -hmm. um, I oversaw all the scanning of all the actors on set um, alongside the folks from Gentle Giant, so I'm a big fan of their work. Um, right now, I'm so busy directing that there are other people that are handling the licensing stuff. Being Lucasfilm, it will be top quality work, um, and I know that um, at Skywalker, we have an artist who's done some beautiful maquettes mm -hmm. of our new animated characters. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. I mean, yeah. they're just, yeah. I mean, they're, they're just, they're prototypes right now, and they're fabulous. And the, the supervising director, who's a big collectible fan, he just wants, to, he wants one of them now. And I think they said it was going to cost $1,000 or something to get a, a mold of it. And he's like, I'll paint myself. Okay, he can't wait. He can't wait for the stuff to come out. So that'll start showing up, I imagine, in the coming months. Okay. And, and did you plan to go some convention in 2007? Uh, I mean, uh, the celebration? Celebration? Yeah. Um, they've, they have generally asked me to go. Well, we haven't got the specifics yet. I'd love to go. Yeah. You know, I have been asked every time to go celebration, and for various reasons, I've never been able to attend, so I'm really hoping that I can get to celebration. So be in London for yeah. a celebration in Europe. Exactly. Maybe we will have a, a booth over there. Fabulous. So that maybe would be we'll great. Have the opportunity to meet again. I hope so. Uh, so thank you very much. You're I, very I will give you, you know, the, yeah. a, a very small card <coughs> of, you know, of our website okay. just written in French. Okay. Uh, I can read some French. Uh, okay, that, that, that's great. So we want to be such as the Rebel Scum version. <laughs> you know. But it's in French. Thank you very much Fabulous. for your availability to us. Yeah, you're